you start over. Greetings, yoginis, it's Yoga Rose, Kali Rose. So we're coming together in oneness and doing some mystical vinyasa flow today. So we always begin our practice in Sukhanasana, an easy sit. Being comfortable, whether your legs are crossed or extended, we're getting balanced on our sit bones. And some people need a bolster, a pillow under the edge of their butts. So your knees are lower than your hips. And if that would be you, you want to grab something right now. So we always begin by rooting down, and then we rise up. So I've got some cedar wood, cedar wood burning. Opens up our third eye, so we're not blindsided. So we can see things that, as they truly are. So let's come together in one. Pull our spines right out of our sit bones. And your arms, nothing but an extension of your spine. We soften or close our eyes and we take that external focus. And we bring it within. So where is your breath? Does it go all the way down into the bottom of your lungs? Can you feel it in your belly? Is it jagged or is it smooth? So soften the belly and let breath fill the entire belly. And we open up that root chakra and allow that grounding earth energy in. So feel the powerful kundalini energy rising up from your roots. Passing through the sacred waters of the sacral chakra just beneath your navel. Entering the solar plexus chakra. Feeling the ego beneath your rib cage. Traveling up into your heart chakra. Breathing in the vital breath of the heart. And then into your throat chakra, pouring through any disillusion. Helping us speak our truth. And then into the third eye. Allowing us to see things as they really are. And lastly, we rise up. That energy pours out of the top of our head, our crown chakra like a mighty fountain right into the cosmos. We feel our connection to the earth. We feel our connection to the cosmos. And all life as it is. And then today's mudra, let's do ushas mudra. So it's a class for the hands. And ladies, your left thumb should fall dominant over the right. Gentlemen, your right thumb should fall dominant over the left. So Ushas Mudra helps us stay grounded during these difficult times. Ushas Mudra is awesome for uh, strengthening our immunes. It doesn't raise it, it doesn't lower it. It puts it right where it needs to be. Ushas Mudra releases oxytocin and many other feel-good hormones that we so badly need today. So clasp your hands and let your hands sit heavy in your lap. Our hearts are up in our chest, our shoulders are relaxed. We just connect with our breath while we work the root chakra, staying grounded. Sacral chakra, so we flow better through life. So one more breath with this mudra, and we'll return to it. And then let it go. Let's hang on to our legs, our knees. Let's put our chins in the hollow of our throats. And let's begin with supigrin, also known as somatics. So our heads are heavy, and if you're like me and you got a lot of hair, you might want to pull it back. Get it out of your face so you can see what's going on on the video. So yes, this is our first virtual experience. More to come. So chins in the hollow of our throats. And we're working on anger issues, because that's what the neck holds. 
to let all of your thoughts pour out of your head into the earth. Let Gaia, Mother Earth, recycle them. And we're going to take that heavy head. It's about 10 pounds, the size of a child's bowling ball. And see if you can rock it gently side to side, working on anger issues and working on loosening up our necks and helping us speak our truths from chakra. Let's try a complete circle all the way around. And if it hurts, by modifying it, if it still hurts, take a time out. Let's reverse this. So somatic, super din, should be done before you stretch hard, before you are taking any vigorous activity. So we don't strengthen first, we loosen up first. Let's inhale the head up slow. Rising up inside your space, how do you feel today? How's your aura feel? Is it sticky icky? Is it smooth like silk? The smoother the better. So let's move downward onto our shoulders. So small circles with our shoulders. Loosening up the shoulders, the upper backs, a little bit of the cervical spine, the thoracic spine. And we're working on those trust issues, especially trusting that inner voice. Let's inhale, shrug up. Squeeze the tension out of your neck and upper back. Big inhale, and then exhale, let go. Let's raise our arms and let's raise our energy. And let's clear our aura of all the negative energy. Cell phones, laptops, electronics that you're bombarded with, clear it. And reverse it, and we're also loosening up our elbows. Elbows are all about accepting your experience. If you find change hard, might have elbow issues. And from your wrist, keep it going, keep it flowing. So the wrist, the minor details in life, you can sweat the small stuff. You might find you having issues with your wrists, forearms, and the back of our hands. Let's put them gently together. Just take your elbows lower than your shoulders. And then a gentle wag back and forth. While they work on computers, this is wonderful. And see if you can rotate them back and forth. Sweep and clear your heart chakra. One more. Now how about a reverse Usha Smudra? So this helps you breathe into the bottom of your lungs. It's just some gentle tugging. Tugging hard. So lift your hearts up in your chest. Inhale. Exhale, let go of all the negative things in your life. So clear the darkness and let's move into the light. And your legs, your hands on your legs, your knees. Inhale, rib cage up off your waist. And then exhale, let's do a rib cage roll together. All the components in your core, let's detox them. Lubricate the middle of the spine, reverse it. And if it hurts, we don't do it. We modify it first. If it still hurts, we practice ahimsa, nonviolence. And let's move it right into the tailbone area. Roll around on those sit bones. If you've got something under your butt, pull it out right here. So when you do this movement, you're working on the lower uh, eliminatory track, clearing worries and fears. That'll stop us from being grounded. Reverse it. And we do the best that we can with the bodies that we have. And then let's come to neutral and rock it back and forth. Clear those worries and fears. Be free. Stay in the light, folks. And then let's anchor our sit bones. Let's arch and round the back. So this is called spinal seizure. Spinal seizure takes your pH from acidic to alkaline. And perhaps you heard that an alkaline body can knock out cancers, diseases, tumors, and stiffness, painful in inflammation in the joints and the body parts disappears too when you're alkaline. One more. And then let's drop our hands down to the earth. Inhale, let's bring up the sun together in unison. And then let's exhale, let's turn to the side. I think you're turning to your right, and I'm turning to my left. 
When you touch down, turn your head. Inhale, push taller. Exhale, twist and turn. And then come back to center. Inhale, rise up. Bring it up the sun. Celebrate life. And then exhale, we're turning the other way. It's probably to your left. I'm not going to my right. One hand front, one hand back. Turn your head. Lift up straight. Now keep your seated twist safe. And then exhale, twist and turn. And then inhale. Let's come back to where we started. Bring up the sun. Usha Smudra. Find it above your head. Bring it out in front of your heart. Slowly. Find peace. And with those hands, in Usha Smudra, we're going to make a figure eight, Celtic eight. On its side, the sign of infinity. Because we all we are all infinite beings of light. Those of you that work on a computer or work with your hands or have arthritis thickening in your hands, you're gonna get rid of all of that. But you need to practice it daily. And then our mind go the other way. A little tricky, huh? And then push this water away. Lift up your heart and move shot. Feel the love. And then let go. Let's shake out our hands. And we're kicking up that left foot. Your left, my right. Grab on. We're still doing somatics. You put in circles with your heel. Loosens up the knee. Pride and ego is the emotion that gets stuck in the knees. Right side of the body. Reversal. Is masculine, left side's feminine. If it's always right side of the body, are you having issues with a male? Take this leg and pull it straight. Always left side of the body, are you having issues with a female? So we're climbing up. Push the foot up, lift up the heart, and bring this leg in. So working on the hamstring. Hamstring holds the emotion of self-control. If you're a control freak, you might have hamstring issues. If you feel like life is out of control, you might have hamstring issues. Let's make circles with our foot. Move into the ankle. Inflexibility and guilt is the emotion that gets trapped there. Clear it. Reverse it. So yeah, when we work with yoga, we work on our emotions. <clears throat> Expand at the knee and cradle. Onto rocking the baby. So this is a soft way to open up those hips. Foot out there, foot in there. They're all different. And one should never get pushed into a yoga pose. And let's take this knee and push it in towards our armpit. Open up. Open up that pelvic floor. Get into it. And we're going to drop that right elbow down. And grab this left ankle and onto the hip flexor, the front of the thigh at the top. So in that hip flexor, we feel like the emotion of feeling like you're stuck in life, like it's trapped in here. And I don't make tight hip flexors. Always on the left side, do you feel stuck from a female source? Right side isn't male. Bring this foot up, and tuck her in, and kick up that right foot, the masculine side, your right side, my left side. Let's do it. Let's move into that knee and work on pride and ego issues. And then return it. Are you feeling better yet? Clearing all those emotions, loosen it up from head to toe. So if you get in somatics, pull this leg straighter. So getting into this hamstring, self-control issues, push the foot up, lift up the heart, and bring this leg in. Breathe into it, breathe into all the resistance. And then back it up, circles with your foot, let it flow from your ankle. Reverse it. Clockwise is masculine, solar, strengthening. Counterclockwise is lunar, feminine, and clearing. Bring it to me. Let's 
so much involved in yoga that the normal person doesn't realize lots of stuff going on here. Here we're clearing worries and fears. Push this knee in towards our armpit and we do the best that we can with the bodies that we have. And then down onto our uh, hip flexor. We're going to drop that left elbow down and pull this right ankle, right foot back. So your bottom leg's bent for balance, stability. Working on those issues of feeling stuck in life. Stuck in a job you don't like. Stuck in a bad relationship. Stuck in a love. And then let go. Let's kick these legs straight. Let's bounce. Let's shake out these legs. And maybe you want to peel off a layer. Well, let's loosen up the sacrum right above your tailbone. Do some hip walking forward and back with arms, without arms, vigorous, slow. Maybe you need to hang on. Maybe your low back sore. We're all different. And it's somewhere in the middle of your mat. Let's bring these knees in. Let's knee squeeze, knee hug, and roll. Hold up on asana, sand straight. Straighten that spine and get tall. And not everyone can bring their legs in close. Some of you might be right here. Modify that. And then soften up and round up. So we're going to do some rocking and rolling. And if you hear any snap, cracks, or pops, that means you just put a vertebra in that would help. So back and forth. And if you just had a meal, you might want to take a time out. Let's rock it up and keep it up. And then roll it over on all fours. So your hands will fall right under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. So let's find calf flow first. So arch and round your back. Start out easy. Test the water. See how it feels on you. And get your head and your neck involved. Get all 24 vertebrae. One more of these. And then let's pause. So let's do a towel wag. So we're rocking our hips gently side to side. So maybe your heads, maybe your shoulders. And then let's put cat flow and towel wag together. Some of you are new to my yoga and some of you are regulars. The regulars probably know what's coming next. Let's reverse it. So if this feels weird, it'll feel comfortable after about your third or fourth time in class. Let's come to neutral, and from here, we're going to take our left foot and bring it in towards our two hands. So you want your knee over your heel. Back knee preferred right underneath your sit bone. So let's gently rock it back and forth and get a little bit looser before we engage into Half Warrior, Ardha, Vibhrindasana. Let's pause here and put that knee back over your heel. And take your back shin and ground it. Let's let go. And bring up the sun. So Ushas Mudra over your heads. Lay it down in front of your heart. Grounding energy in your heart chakra. Shift that weight slightly forward, keeping your knee before the tips of your toes. Connect with the mudra. Connect with your inner warrior. Start a fire in your heart center. Now we're going to try a twist. So off to the left we go. Or is it your right? Twisting, turning, lifting up your chin, your gaze. And see if you can turn on that heart chakra. And 
and bring your mudra back towards your heart. Let's push it up above our heads and flip it inside out. Shoulders shrugging into your ears. Shift that weight forward and create a lot of energy in your core. And then when you're ready, this is your practice. Let go. Let's draw down the moon, cooling us off. And your two hands on each side of that left foot. And we're going to change legs. So put that right foot in between your two hands and stack your knee over your heel. Preferred is your this knee is underneath the stiff bone. We're going to shift our weight back and forth gently. So it's in preparation to uh, the pose, getting ready for it. And then put that knee, knee right over your heel again and ground that back shin. And when you're ready, let go. Bringing up the sun creates heat, cleans up your aura, usha smudra over your head, bring it down in front of your heart. And shift that weight gently forward, being mindful. Don't let your knee cross the tips of your toes. Let's twist it. In it, on it, outside your leg. Lifting up your chin, lifting up your gaze, turning on that heart shine. And bring your mortar back toward your heart. How are we doing today? Push that mortar over your head. Flip it inside out. Shoulders close to your ears. Turn that frown upside down into a smile. You're all healing. And then soften up and draw down the moon. It's cooling. And your hands on each side of this foot. Send the, this leg back by the other leg. Knee, shoulder, hip width apart. Let's curl our toes under. Let's lift up our knees and find our down dog. Try to get those heels down. Heads are heavy so you're not straining your neck. Bend that right knee and breathe into that left leg. Now this is awesome for preventing influenza, for balancing hormones, change sides, and getting congestion out of the head. And then alternating those heels, plumbing your feet, walking the dog. Walk our feet in towards our hands. Tippy toe. Or if you like, hop. So we're gonna lift up our chin, our gaze, and maybe curl those toes up. Eyeballs, roll them up there into your eyebrows. Or through any disillusion in your life, push your tongue into the roof of your mouth so you can speak the truth. So relax your eyes, tongues, your toes, and let's round, let the head get heavy, and we're gonna ragdoll up one vertebrae at a time. And when you all make it all the way up to the top, let's complement that forward bend with a back bend. So our two hands behind us, check your feet, shoulder hip width apart. Bend the knees, rock the hips. Roll your prana, your chi upward. Elbows closer, head back. Opening up the front doors of our chakras. And then heads up, let's bend our knees and ragdoll down. Soften up, round up. Complementing that back bend with a forward bend. So it's called Vinyasa Kriya. We're always complementing the previous pose. For a safe and effective yoga practice, let's ragdoll up. One vertebrae at a time. And when y'all make it all the way up to the top, turn towards me. Each shoulder, hip width apart. Let's do it. Let's bring up the sun. Raise your energy. Clean your aura. Take control back in your life. So usha mudra over your heads. We're going to push our hands up. 
Push your feet down. So create some opposition in your core. Release your mortar. Let's cross a wound in the to your right and your left. Heads are heavy, so you're not swinging your neck. Let's rise back up to neutral or shishumna. Press up one to the other side. Heads get heavy. Turn that frown upside down into a smile. You're healing. Let's come back to neutral or shishumna. Right on the wound. Feeling your body temperature up a little bit. How are you feeling? How's your aura? Is it getting any silkier, any smoother? Have you been clearing that negative energy out? And let's clasp our hands behind our back. Usha Mudra. Fix your shoulders, pick them up, pull them back, drop them down. And push your mortar down while you lift up your heart center. And retracting into the hollow of your throat. I need to do a camera adjustment. So are you all shocky shake. I'm going to fix the camera. Shake out your feet. Shake out your hands. Shake out your arms. Shake out your head. And I'm going to tilt this just a little bit so y'all can see me. Hi there. Still with y'all. Still working on it. Whoop. Hang in there, folks. Right back at you. So back into Tadasana, so we're going to step our feet wide apart. Upright, wide angle, ground your feet. Shoulders up, back, drop them down. So get your head out of your neck. Get your neck out of your shoulder. And we're going to work on warrior one. We went from half warrior, let's do full warrior. So turn your right foot, my left foot, to the side. Bend this knee right over that heel. The back foot, wherever it's comfortable. But we need to take these hips, turn them in the same direction as that front foot. So our back foot's going to move around until you find it. Working in warrior one. Arts up in our chest. And let's find our mortar. I bring it up the sun. So Ushas Mudra over your head. Bring it down in front of our hearts. Connecting with your inner warrior, inner fire. Take a breath and breathe. Can that spark create a flame? Let's bow humbly forward, repositioning whatever you need to. And we're going to turn to the side. So twisting, turning, turn your head. Lifting up your chin, your gaze, and we're turning on that heart shine. Push your feet down hard. Increases bone strength, bone density in the lower body. And then bring your mortar back towards your heart center. Rock those hips forward. And then push your mortar over your head. Let's flip it inside out. Push your hands up. Push your feet down to create a lot of opposition in your core. Can you feel that heat that burns, that purifies? Big inhale. And then exhale, we're going to pivot back to neutral. Shishumna, so your legs are apart. We're going to draw down the moon. Clean up your aura. Take it all the way down. Do it again on the other side. So turn. Turn that other foot sideways. Bend this knee over this heel. And you're going to move the hips same direction as that front foot. Ground those feet. Lift up your heart. So connecting with our inner warrior, our inner fire, the 
And you all know what to do with distractions? Go say it quietly to yourself, whatever it is. And acknowledge me if they happen. And then say it quietly to yourself in acceptance that we share this earth, this planet, with all things. No one has precedence. Bring up the sun. Cleaning up your work, creating heat. Hands above your head creates heat. Fire that burns, that purifies. Usha Smudra makes some oxytocin, some of those feel-good hormones. Bringing it down in front of your heart. Rock those hips forward. Creates fire in your heart center. And then let's bow humbly forward. Honoring our inner teacher. Let's twist it off to the side. In your lap, on your lap, or outside his leg. Twist it, turning, lifting up your chin, your gaze. Turning on your heart shape. Detoxing. Well, it's my right side of the body. Not sure what side you're all on. And then come back upright. Bring your motor up. Ground your feet for stability. Bring your motor towards your heart. And we're going to push it over our heads. Let's flip it inside out. Create more heat. Push your motor away. Ground your feet. Shoulders. Hug them into your ear. Push those hips farther forward. And then let go. We're going to draw down the moon. And as you do, you might want to pivot back to, back to Shishumna, that place of balance. Come down slow. Let's find Usha's water behind our back. Get your shoulders. Bring them up, pull them back, drop them down. Stuff your hands down and lift up your heart center. You know how easy it is to get that breath into the bottom of your lungs, down into your belly. Soften up the knees. Let's bow humbly forward. So follow. Follow your nose all the way down. Lift up your hands and go to your limited pause. We're all different. Then bend the knees radically. Let's rise up. Heads up, hands down, and we're going right into the goddess pose. So bend your elbows, bend your knees, tuck your sit bones underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers, spread your toes. And let's push our tongues into the roof of our mouth. Go your eyeballs up there into your eyebrows. Cleaning up our words and pouring through any disillusion in our lives. And then we're going to soften up and straighten up. So hands up above your head. Let's do a cleansing breath. Similar to lion's breath, it'll clear any germs out of the lungs, bacteria, viruses. So inhale and shrug up. Exhale, make some noise and drop them down. Ha! Do it again. Inhale, shrug up. Exhale through your mouth. Ha! One more time. Inhale, shrug up. Exhale, ha, we're gonna draw down the moon. So turn your palms up, out, turn your palms up and bring your arms down slowly. Is your aura feeling any clearer? Clearing that negative energy. And we're gonna work on strengthening our amnion with uh, one of the four thumbs. So make us fit, soft fits. And the inside of your hand, how your thymus gland, that controls your immune. 15 seconds will strengthen your immune. About halfway there, keep going. Break up mucus congestion in your lungs too. So that ought to do it. So we're gonna bend our knees, folks. Let your arms hang and let's ragdoll down in a huge gesture of surrender. Relax your head, let him go. Surrender to what is, letting go of what was, and having faith in what will be. So feet 
wider. Bend your knees and bring your crown chakra down and point your root chakra down. So both crown chakra and root chakra receiving grounding earth energy from the earth. And then let's rise up. So we're going to straighten our legs. We're going to lift up our chins. Lift up your gaze. Draw your eyeballs back up into your eyebrows. Bottom lips over your top lips. So we're stretching that optic nerve. And we're toning the neck and the throat. How are you all doing? You all still with me? All right, soften up. Widen up some more if you can. This time we take the crown chakra down and the root chakra and push it up. So the north pole goes south and your south pole goes north. Crown chakra gets grounded, root chakra gets energized. How about that? Breathing into those hamstrings, working on self-control issues. We're going to rise back up. Halfway up, feet in a little closer. Got it? And then let's windmill. Take that right hand, your right hand, my left hand, follow it up with your gaze. Rock your hips to the right, right hand, right side, without bending your knees. Follow it up with your gaze. Go to your limit. We're all different. Take your gaze up towards that thumb. So now we're going to breathe into this gracilis. It's probably your left gracilis. The emotion connected to the gracilis is despair. A lot of us are there, but you can release that emotion. Open your window. And then slowly lower this hand. Follow it with your gaze. And when y'all touch down, bring those hips back to center. Shishumna. And we're going to do it again on the other side. So without bending your knees, rock your hips to the left. Your left, my right. Inhale, breathe that left hand up. Follow it up with your gaze. Maybe one side's working better than the other. Go to your limit and pause. Gaze up towards that thumb. So work in the right gracilis. Feeling despair coming from the male influence. Ah. And then slowly lower this hand. Keep your gaze on it. When y'all touch down, you want to bring your hips to neutral. Shishumna. Walk your feet in a little closer. So transition is easier. Let's travel to your right. My left. Here we go, guys. Pivot your feet. Pivot your feet, bring them in a little closer. We're going right into pigeon. A little bit more challenging. Kick up that, that would be your right foot, my left foot. Push it up into the cosmos. Roll hard into this lower leg. Can you get that foot up a little higher? Three-legged down dog first. Heads up. Take this knee and bring it down. Float it. Or flop it down towards your two hands. And then slide that back leg back farther. Right into pigeon. Getting a little bit taller. Hearts up. Time to drop. And breathe. And then pigeon hip rock. Rock those hips gently side to side. more rock and roll. Are y'all ready? Two ways to go down. The easier way is just walking your hands out, finding Ushas Mudra here. Or, you can rise up. Find Ushas Mudra over your head and bow slowly or quickly down towards the earth. And we're going to try to put our third eye in between our arms all the way down. Slide that back leg back a little farther. Woo! Pull your navel into your spine. And clear all those worries and fears out of your hips. 
Pigeon is a powerful hip opener. And then let's come up. Heads up, we're gonna walk our elbows in and travel. I believe it's your left side, your right side, my left side. And see if you can pick up that elbow. Twist and turn. Breathe. So ground that back leg. It'll keep you stable. And if you fall out of a pose, have fun with it. Find that inner child and have a good laugh. And this elbow down, let's walk, slide our hands in. Peel your heart off that leg. Send this front leg back by that back leg. Knee, shoulder, hip width. So we curl our toes under, let's pick up our knees. Let's get heavy and we're going back to down and back. Push those heels down, push your sit bones up higher, heads are heavy. Let's swing the neck. And this time, walk your feet closer together back there. Pick up your left leg, I believe, my right. And we're folding hard into this lower leg. There are mucus and congestion out of your sinuses. That top foot up higher. Bouncing hormones and helping prevent influenza. Heads up, take this top leg, this knee, and bring it down towards your two hands. Pop it, float it, and then slide that back leg back a little bit more. We're walking tall. Trying to keep our hips square parallel to the earth. Put on your fingertips, on your palms, or on your fists. Hearts up in our chest. Take a breath and breathe. Pigeon helps us find self-love, something we all have a hard time with, loving ourselves, honoring and respecting the person who we are, all the good and the bad. They're all ready, we're going down. So oh, before we do, let's do our pigeon hip rock. Rock those hips gently side to side. That down dog's working on you. It's bringing all that congestion out of my sinuses. One more rock on our way down. So you can go the easy way, find Usha Mudra, or you can come up with me, bringing up the sun. Find Usha Mudra over your head. And we bow humbly forward, floating <laughs> or flopping. The lower that third eye, can you get it all the way down? Keeping your hips square parallel. Send that back leg a little farther back. If you're in pain, you need to modify it. Still in pain, take a time out. The hymns are nonviolent. Heads up, let's travel to the side. Walk your arms in. And I'm going to my right. I think you all go to your left. See if you can pick up that elbow. Turn your head to the side with that elbow. Crown that back leg. And if you fall out of a pose, have fun with it. Bring it in as long as you can. A powerful hip open. Release those fears. And then as the arm's coming down, you're gonna walk, slide your hands in, peel your heart off that leg. I got a lot of requests to do pigeon. So send that leg back and bring your knees close together. Right underneath your sit bones, your hands right underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna do our balance work today on all fours. Some of you know it's coming. We're gonna thread the needle. <laughs> so. We're going to start with this uh, hand closest to me. Inhale, reach out to the side, going up, following up with your gaze. Go to your limit. They're all different. Gaze up towards that thumb. And now exhale, follow it down. And we're going to thread the needle. So this hand's going underneath your arm. Lay that right shoulder down, right side of the head. Take this hand, bring it towards the other hand, and then we're going to send that, my left leg, possibly your right up. Take this shin over here and ground it. 
and then you want to try to connect. If you're comfortable, that hand to your ankle, pull the knee up. And you fall out of a pose, have fun with it. Working on balance today on all fours. The leg up, back to all fours. So knees close together and hands under your shoulders and just do a little cat pose. Loosen things up. And then we'll thread the needle on the other side. You up with me? So knees tight together. Let's inhale, breathe. And farther hand up. Follow it up with your gaze. And then the exhale, follow it down. So this hand threads the needle. Lay, I think it's your right shoulder. It's my left. And the side of the head down, bring this hand in closer. And let's do it. Pick up that leg that's closest to me. And see if you can lift up that arm. Woo! If I fall, <laughs> I'm going to laugh. And then see if you can connect your hand to your ankle. You can. You don't have to. Pull the knee up. Are you breathing? When things get tough, your knees get breathing. And then when y'all had enough fun, we let go. We're gonna go back to all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees, shoulder, hip width. Let's back up into child's pose. Can't go all the way back, it's called baby pose. See where you can go. Stretch your arms if your shoulders are okay with that. Can you lower your third eye? Find your breath and breathe. So arms extended or arms have stopped and reached practice. Heads up, let's return to all fours and walk your hands far out back. Kick up your feet, some yogi plank push-ups. Cross at your ankles. We're going to bend and straighten our arms. So yoga is about strengthening. It's not just about stretching. If this is too tough, walk your hands in closer. Here we go. Let's shoot for 10. One. Two. Three. Four. So your navel into your spine. Five. Six. Seven. What ankle do you have dominant? Eight, male or female, right or left, one more. So we're going to back it up into child's pose. Or baby, halfway back, lower your third eye. Arms extended or arms retracted. Find your breath and breathe. You need to bring in more oxygen. You need to keep going. Let's do it again. Heads up. Walk, slide your hands out there. As you can, ankle cross. Bend and straighten our elbows. Ten. Nine. Can you feel it? Eight. Seven. Six. Quit when you need to. Five. Four. Three. Two. Bend and lower and belly down. So this time we're going to reach back for our ankles. Shins on the earth. Right into the bow, lift up your face. You don't have to grab your ankles. But if you've got them, see if you can pull your knees up. Hearts up, maybe your thighs. Working in the bow. And then let go, one more round. Hands under your shoulders, push up. Ankle cross, last 10. Or take a time out, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then all the way down. Let's uncross. Feet, shoulder, hip width apart. Stack one hand on the other. 
Rest in your third eyes on your stacked hands. Time to catch our breath and breathe. Let's cross the left ankle over the right. So it's feminine over masculine, it's lunar over solar. It should be empowering to most of us, and we're sure they are. <laughs> Inhale, squeeze your knees, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, relax. Working connective tissue, fascia. Inhale, squeeze. It represents 20% of your body's weight. Exhale, release. Focus on the low back. One more. Inhale, squeeze. Let's hold the squeeze, but let's keep breathing. Such an empowering asana. And then release, relax. Let's change that dominant ankle. Put the right over the left. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, relax. We got masculine over feminine here. Inhale, squeeze. Start over the moon, exhale, relax. Some women have an issue with this. Work through it. That's what we're doing. We're healing. We're working on healing our emotions. Inhale, squeeze. Hold the squeeze, but keep breathing. Squeeze your knees, squeeze your thighs. Tighten up all over. Work that connective tissue, the fascia. And then let go. Let's finish it. Feet shoulder hip width or wider. Then hit your knees and cross kick. So realigning your energies. And each time you do things that are difficult, your energies can get scrambled, going in the wrong direction. Whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, it doesn't matter. And then we shuffle kick. Children do this intuitively on the floor, doing homework, playing a video game. And it breaks up scar tissue from the lumbar part of your back down to your ankles. Good stuff. Put our feet down and roll it over onto our backs. And you know, and you regulars know this is transition time. So we go from our belly to our back, and whenever you do that, you want to bend your knees. You want to plant your feet. You got minor chakras in the bottom of your feet. Help activate the major seven. Breathe it in and out of our nose. How are we all doing? So time for some ab work. Let's rock stuff our thumbs under our butts. Pick up our feet. And we're going to put left ankle over the right ankle again. So as you work your abs in half candle, it's safe on your back. So you want to lift up hips a little bit and squeeze your knees, your thighs together, and do a kegel at 10. And release down. Two for 10. Let's try it. One. Do what you can and leave the rest. Two. Not too high. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, here we go. Push up and pause. Squeeze your knees, your thighs. Feel your abdominals tightening up and being drawn inward towards your spine. And release your hands. Let's lower that right leg and climb up the left. Feminine leg, keep it as straight as you can. Bring it in. Some of y'all like to pick up your head to meet your leg. You don't have to. Breathing. So we're into this hamstring, we're into this hip flexor. Kick up that right leg, put right over the left. You got sun over the moon, you've got masculine energy over feminine. Breathe through it if it's, if it's emotionally hard. And let's squeeze up and down again. 10, nine, eight. When you lift too high, you're just straining your back, so keep your low back grounded. I think we're on five, four, three, two, last one, push up and pause. And 
Slide those hands out. Let's lower this left leg. Climb up this solar leg, right leg, masculine. Keep it straight. Working on this hamstring and this hip flexor. So if you'd like, you can lift up your head beneath this leg. And then heads down. Kick up that left leg. Let's bend in our knees. Let's cross at our ankles. Knee squeeze, knee hug, or knee hold. Apanasana. Chins up. Anytime you work your abs, you're straining your neck. You get the stress out of your neck. A stop, slow motion, chin waggers. Very complimentary here. Now roll your head and let's rock our body side to side and hit those mama trigger points. Nice and easy. And then to neutral. So your arms out to the side at three o'clock and nine o'clock respectively. Let's twist it. Now bring your legs to the right and up. Soften your heart chakra, your chest, your arms, your hands, your back. Soften your throat chakra, relax your jaw. Soften your third eye, smooth those thinking lines out of your forehead. And let's come back to neutral, Shashunga. Change your ankle cross. Twist to the left side. Easy does it. So go to your limit and pause. Breathe in and out of your nose. Here we go again. Soften the heart shot. Throat shot. Third eye. And breathe. And then we're going to rise up. So let's uncross our legs. Let's wrap our feet down, shoulder hip width. Bring those arms by your sides and let's hip up into bridge pose. So this complements where we just were at. Twist. And if you can, if your shoulders are okay with that, Usha Smudra underneath you. Come on, wiggle those shoulder blades closer together. Hips up a little higher, chest into your chin, squeeze and soak your thyroid. Get the toxins out of your thyroid gland. And then unclasp, open up shoulder blades, sit bones, and slowly lower those hips, one vertebrae at a time. And when y'all touch down, we need to complement that. So we're going to smooth wrinkles out of our back and bring our knees right up into those cupped hands. And then some gentle pumping in and out. Rolling on those mama, those trigger points, small circles with your hands. Roll your head around simultaneously. And then return it. So you regulars know we're done. Let's drop our feet down. Let's push our legs straight slowly. Stretch your hands, your <coughs> arms above your head and get to up. Yoginis, we don't shrink as we age. We, get, we stay the same or we might get taller. Big inhale, get taller. And then exhale, bring your arms soft enough all over. Bring your arms down by your sides. We all touch down. Make circles with our feet. Circles with your hands. And roll your head around your shoulder. And return it. Good time to put a layer or two back on or pull a blanket over yourself. We're going to do a short. Short Savasana. Well, you're all getting comfortable. Some people like a bolster or a pillow underneath their knees. I'm going to put some meditation music on. So down on our backs. 
all comfy, we're all cozy. Let's reconnect with the magic of our breath and breathe. So how does the breath feel now? Is it full? Is it complete? I'm going to sit up while you all lay down. Breathe in and out of your nose. Let's do a heart chakra meditation. Apply gravity. So place a flower on the top of both feet. Out of falling off. Let's put some love into our feet where we root. Let's feel those tears. Place a flower on your pubic bone. That sacred yoni energy, that feminine energy, that power that's been so suppressed. Put some love into Flower in your navel. Flower in your navel. Put some love into that ego. Calm that ego right down. Place a flower on the back door of your heart chakra, underneath you, where self love lives. Create some space and some love for yourself. Place a flower on your lips without it falling off. Put love in all your words today. Place a flower in between your eyebrows on your third eye. Put love in all that you see today. Turn off this dark stuff. Find the light that's within us. We don't find it out here. We find it in here. And lastly, place a lotus flower on the top of your head. And open up the petals one at a time. A lotus flower well rooted into the earth. At a time. Sends its stalks through muddy, murky, chaotic water that represents our lives. And its flower opens up one petal at a time towards the energy of the sun. We root down. We rise up. Find your breath and breathe. Create space where there was no space. Find peace. And it's time for chaos in your life. So we're going to relax. Thoughts, any bits and pieces, any residue of your day coming into your head. Just let them all go like clouds in the sky. This is your time. This is your time to heal. And through stillness, you find peace.
Awaken. Awaken. Awaken to the sound of the kingship bell. Brings us right up into our crown chakra, right where your lotus flower opens. So breaking savasana should be slow. We're going to bend our knees and plant our feet. And gently rock your head side to side. Brushing the cobwebs of savasana away. Or roll your head towards me. And if it's good side, continue to roll over onto it. Be mindful of your head, your neck, your shoulders, your back. And let your head sink into the earth as you root down. It's always important before you rise up. Feel your connection to Gaia, Mother Earth. Feel your breath, how easy it is to breathe in and out of your nose, fully and completely. And then we rise up. So heads up, let's use two hands so we stay balanced. Feel that crown turn upside down into a smile. Use your sit bones underneath you, balanced like a cross and you can stay here. We finish the way we start. Your spine out of your sit bones. Wake up that inner child. She's sleeping down in your pelvic bowl. Bring her up to you. Your arms an extension of your spine, rolling, flowing into your lap like a waterfall or a fountain. Your head like a primrose candle. You enjoy it in all directions. We always close with gratitude, the sides of our hands in front of each other. Visualize something you're grateful for. Turn it into a star seed of light. Plant it in your hand, your gratitude journal. Close your eyes and with your, in your mind's eye, watch your hands illuminate. There's got to be at least one thing you're grateful for. It can be a gazillion. Watch your hands illuminate your power. Close up our gratitude garden and apply it to our heart shine. All those flowers, they roll off you and roll around you. Turn it on us. So let's chant Om Nam Sai. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye.